Hey guys, it's Bethany. I'm so excited to be sitting in front of the camera today. It has been over two weeks, I think, since I've done any kind of filming. So really sorry about that, um, but I started my own business. I am really excited. I actually got into, um, I still do my, my job, but I also am now doing uh, LuLaRoe. I am a fashion consultant. It kind of just fell into my lap and I've been having a blast doing it. And it gives me the opportunity to stay at home with Jackson a little bit more help with some finances, give me some balance, some self-care. So it's been a blast, but I've definitely been missing you guys and YouTube and makeup. I've still been wearing makeup and I've still been working really hard on my project pans. I just haven't been able to sit in front of the camera. I've been trying to organize everything with the um, business. So um, if you guys are interested, I will do kind of like a style haul type of thing um, just to kind of share with you guys what LuLaRoe is, but I have a whole separate channel just for that. So this is still going to be my beauty channel and I will get into bringing you guys at least one to two videos every week again. I have a whole list of things that I need to film, so you'll start seeing those come up very soon. But I wanted to first start off with my Pan That Palette update number 10. Can you believe there's only two months left of this year? I can't even. So I have hit pan on one, or no, I've used up completely one, two, three, four, five shadows this update. So super fabulous. We'll start with the MAC Intriguing Scarlet Palette. And I used up one of the shades here and it is the was the beautiful uh, Well Spice shade, which was this gorgeous kind of warm brown. I finally used that up. I was using that pretty consistently as a shadow, a bronzer, um, you know, definitely a good crease shade and finally used it up. And then um, you'll see more on the pictures, but I did extend the pan over here on this shade, the uh, Gentle Heat shade. Been using this a lot as a crease shade as well as a eyebrow um, kind of powder. And then really did some good work on the Warm Suede shade too. It's a lot flatter, so I think that I'm hoping I'll be able to finish that one up completely by the end of the year. I was using, you can't see probably, <laughs> but I was actually using this uh, tealy uh, dark green shade a lot um, this month, and it was beautiful, but it is so densely packed, especially this one too. These three are crazy densely packed, so you use them consistently and consistently, and yet they don't seem to hardly move at all. So. We'll see what happens by the end of the year with this. I used up that really beautiful highlight shade that I was using right here in this Maybelline Pink Punch palette. And I have gone past the halfway mark on that purple shade. And even though it looks like there hasn't been much movement, I've been kind of just going straight across with um, that purple, trying to just lower the pan um, instead of just like working from the middle on. Um, so, there might not be a lot of progress in the pictures, but there is a lot of progress when I'm actually looking at the shadow. And I hope to have this done by next update and definitely by the end of the year. This palette I actually have been the most sad about using up. It was such a pretty palette and just gorgeous shades. I really loved how like warm and rosy all of those colors were. And then I hit pan a little bit more on the silver and used up three shadows in here. This is the Rimmel Black Cab Palette. And I definitely extended that pan in that silver shade 
oh, silver shade over here a lot this update. I've been trying to use that every single day in some capacity. So whether it is layering it over top of a cream shadow, in the inner corner highlight, um, underneath the lash line, whatever I've been trying to do, I've been trying to do something with that shadow every day. And then I used up these shades over here completely. So that black, that kind of light taupe, and then that darker kind of um, like charcoal shade, I used all three of those and so now I just need to finish up those three and then try to get done with I'd like to get done with you know a good half of that silver shade by the end I'm doubtful that I'm gonna be able to use it up completely maybe I'll mix that with a couple of these shades to make something pretty make my own pressed shadow I'm not sure yet not 100% sure yet what I'll do with kind of the leftover shadows that I'm not able to finish by the end of the year and I've already kind of been looking through my collection to kind of eyeball what I think that I will pick for my pan that palette of 2017 We're in the home stretch only a couple more um, months left I am in the process of catching myself up on all of your guys's videos and pan that palettes and project pans and just everything in general it's not only have I missed chatting with you guys but I've also missed watching your guys's videos I'm so far behind I feel I feel like I feel like I haven't been like in the YouTube world in like months and yet again it's only been a couple weeks but gosh you know I'm so used to being on here on such a regular basis that it feels like so long but excited to be back this definitely you know is something that helps with my self-care and it's my passion and I just love it and I hope you guys have been doing amazing and I will see you in one of my next videos bye